Let's take a look at the radar from the tornado early this morning in Upson County, Georgia. And on first look, uh, I was already seeing some pretty amazing things here. That view right there is pretty cool. I'll explain that to you in a minute here. Um, and I actually may want to switch the right side and uh, the left side to reflectivity. And let's let it process this. There were all kinds of uh, tornado signatures that you can get on radar. Um, of the handful or three of signatures that you can get on radar to let you know that you've had a tornado, uh, we actually had all three of them here. Um, pretty classically defined on this one. So uh, let's step through it. Um, the tablet keeps freezing today. Um, let's step through this. There we go. Let's go back. Okay. Um, we're actually starting to see it form right here. A um, little bit of a hook on the left side. And you can see the two uh, velocity gates that on, the, on the right side there. And if we do the inspector tool, uh, check that out, 90, 97 miles per hour. It gets faster. Um, and if it was a negative number, yeah, that's all right. It, what happens is the green, when you look at the velocity radar, green is, is wind, a uh, wind field moving toward the radar site. And red is wind field moving away from the radar site. And the one moving toward it is always expressed as a negative value. Uh, you can ignore the negative and just use the absolute value. Um, so let's step through this and look at this tornado. You can see, there you go, you can see it's starting to come together on the right side. Um, and on the left side, you'll start to see some hook, some, uh, some of the classic hook echo on the reflectivity. Um, there you go, that's getting really tight there. You can see and they tie, they they uh, they correlate pretty close together there. Whoops, that's they um, they're a little bit off because they're on the right side is is the velocity couplet, but right about there on the left side is the hook. Um, Let's zoom out a little bit. You can watch it. Really. Okay, now it's starting to come apart. Now the other interesting thing that you can do with a tornado, those are the two. Those are two signatures you can look at. Um, let me switch the left side to correlation coefficient and let it process this. And I'll explain the correlation coefficient once that loads. Just got to think about it here for a second. All right, let me pause that. Correlation coefficient. You see mostly that red or pink color. Uh, what the correlation coefficient does is it's showing you how similar everything is, how similar or different everything is there in that wind field. Um, and it's mostly the same color right there. Um, so it's all just, you know, wind or rain or whatever. It's all the same thing. There's nothing unique going on. We can actually use the correlation coefficient to find out when a tornado has touched down and also see how high it's lofting debris. Uh, let's step forward. There you go. Um, see that blue right there and it ties 
right in with the the velocity couplet. That blue is is a uh, difference in the field there. That's and that's actually debris being wafted into the air. So you can, if you step back, right at that moment is a, probably about when it touched down, and it started pulling debris in and lofting it into the sky, and the, the radar was reflecting off debris. So pretty classic tornado as far as the signatures that you see on radar.